court will decide be able to soon what panic E1 sound constitute solar panels and satellite disconnected yesterday, cutting its transmission strength in half. The result? Snowy TV screens, slow credit card approvals, and chaos for news organizations. Many services are being transferred to Telesat's other satellite, Anik E1. Guilty. The verdict against Egal Amir was read. Oh, but a Canadian satellite is still on the blink, limping through space. Anik E1 has lost half its power. And as Sasha Petrosik reports, the company that owns it says it cannot be fixed. The fallout continued across Canada today. What an effort. It's been a nightmare around here for the last 24 hours. Darling. Bounced from satellite to satellite, YTV had to redesign its whole system. In a lot of cases, uh, the cable companies are just getting hash and feeding out hash to the uh, kids, and the kids are sitting there watching hash or complaining. <laughs> Still, it's not just child's play. Isolated communities like Iqaluit use satellite phones as their only link to emergency services. For some 50 such communities across the north, calls for help were impossible to make for six hours yesterday. It was a situation so serious, the entire system was almost redirected to Canada's other satellite, Anik E2. We had 13 technical teams on standby and charter aircraft lined up. We were ready to fly into all of these communities and basically adjust the satellite dishes. All because of a glitch 33,000 kilometers above the Earth. The transmitters are in this box. It's about the size of a very small compact car, but they get their power from these two big solar panels. Now, what seems to have happened is that the power from one of these panels, that's half the power for the whole satellite, just went dead. Now, Telesat figures that it's probably something as simple as a broken cable in here, or maybe a blown fuse. Why it failed, I do not know. The president of Telesat tried to reassure people that the only two satellites covering all of Canada are reliable, even with almost fatal flaws. I wouldn't want to use the word lemon. Uh, clearly, we have had our share and more of our share of problems with these two Anik E's. Um, whether we will continue to have problems, I can't, I can't predict that. Uh, the wounded satellite can't be fixed. At best, it'll keep working at less than half its capacity. That leaves ambitious plans for new services like direct-to-home TV very much in doubt. We'll deal with what we can and uh, what we can't. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that things work out. All of this has also affected Telesat's plans for future satellites. They're now needed more than ever, but with so much effort going into keeping the old ones flying, the next generation of satellites is very much up in the air. Sasha Petrosek, CBC News, Ottawa. Two astronauts from the shuttle Atlantis went for a... ...of reproach. He had a point.